Hi everyone, here I am again, out on a bit of a walk, looking for little things that captivate me, anything that captures my attention. And so that's where Lucy and I have been sitting, been pondering Mother Nature. So one of the things that's captured my attention today are all these dried, sort of dead grasses and leafy <laughs> things. And so I thought I'd collect a few and take a look at them a little more closely with you. See if we can identify what it is. And just pay attention to something that I think very few of us would pay attention to because it's, you know, past. It's dead. It's no longer in its prime. It's not as pretty as when it was in bloom. So I beg to differ. As I look closely at these grasses and spent flowers, I see a new form of beauty. I see the framework underneath, which is exquisite. These little cones that it has. Almost looks like a honeycomb. I'm not entirely certain, but I believe this is bee balm, also known as wild bergamo. This is a picture of what it looks like in bloom. This little cluster of dried flowers has to be one of my favorites. It just has this beauty of its own. From the side, I can see that it already has gotten rid of most of its little seeds um, and when I sort of stroke the top of it you can see how the seeds finally fall. I think I've identified this correctly as the tansy, the common tansy, this beautiful yellow flower that always delights me. Just a pop of color Look at this piece. It has such an intricate, delicate pattern and a repetitive little motif going on here. I'm guessing that this is either a cone flower or a black-eyed Susan. And the texture is pretty cool. It's pretty stiff, these little bristles. This is Queen Anne's Lace, a flower that you probably see all over fields. It looks quite different now because the little white petals have left, but I do see little seed. I think this is the seed. Um, and if you look closely, it has little hairy um, projections, probably so that it can snag or hitch a ride on a little critter thing. <laughs> I found a dose of wonder as I looked at their framework and underlying structure. All right, so let Lucy and I know what you thought of this video and leave any comments you want in the section below. Lucy, why are you so cute? Are you sleeping? Can you believe this? Lucy, why are you not facing the camera? Hmm? Are you camera shy? I don't think so. Take 155.